Good evening, YouTube community, and welcome back to another episode of Pack Wars. Today we're going to be opening up six packs from the newest set, Bloomborough, from Magic the Gathering. There's 14 cards in every pack. There is a small chance of getting a holographic foil, but the chance of getting that are going to be less than 1%, but we can always hope. Last weekend was the pre-release event to where I ended up taking 8th place out of 36 people, won 3 packs of cards, which was awesome. Went back the next day for the afternoon event of pre-release. I got this little cool keychain for participating. It's just Mabel. Got the little planeswalker icon. Second day I did win two packs. And then I just stopped by my local card shop and picked up another pack to make this fair. To where each side is going to be receiving three packs. And we're going to battle it out. This set's pretty neat. I enjoyed it. Art's really cool on it. It's not super expensive, like Modern Horizons 3 was. Uh, all right, I guess the little tokens on the front. Again, art's pretty sweet. Our holographic, it's gonna be this little bone bind orator. Got a little planes. Extended art, which is awesome. No way! First pack magic, let's go! Lumbra, Bellow of the Woods, six, six mana. Wow, legendary creature, elemental bear. Vigilance and reach. Lumba, Lumbra, Bellow of the Woods, power and toughness are equal to the number of lands you control. When, when Lumbra enters, mill four cards. Then return all land cards from your graveyard to the battlefield tap. Dude, that's awesome. This is actually like the best card you can get that's basic and like non-extended art. Holy crap, dude. Way to knock, knock it out of the park on that one. All right, our second card is going to be Seasoned Warren Guard. Pretty cool. I haven't seen that one yet. We got Plum Creed Mentor. Again, the art's freaking awesome on this. Rabid Gnaw. Bushy Bodyguard. High Stride. This one actually helped me win that first night. Corpseberry Cultivator. I tried using this that second day, but it didn't work out for me as well. Sticky Tongue Sentinel. Crazy art. Conduct Electricity. Pleated Provisioner. Pearl of Wisdom. Dagger Fang Duo. Oh, I guess that's our last card. All right, pack two. What it do? Looks like our first card's gonna be a token. A little rabbit. Our holographic is Crumb and Get It. Pretty neat. One mana. It says Gift of Food. And then down at the bottom it says Target creature you control gets plus two, plus two until end of turn. If a gift was promised, that creature also gains indestructible until end of turn. Awesome. Our rare card is going to be. I guess it's after the land. Another extended art. Oh, nice. Caretaker's Talent. This is like a little saga card to where it upgrades every turn. Pretty neat. Short Bow. Lily Pad Village. Wildfire Howl. Otterball Antics. Fountain Port Bell. Tree Guard Duo. <laughs> Little Frog Rabbit. That's pretty sweet. Might of the Meek. Tempest Angler. That's pretty sweet. Three mana. Whenever you cast a non creature spell, put a plus one, plus one counter on Tempest Angler. Dang, man, that art is freaking awesome, too. Crum and get it, non-hollow. 
Mind Spiral, Dagger Fang Duo, and our last card. And I forgot, let's go ahead and give right side two points. Or actually, yeah, let's just go ahead and just give him two points. One for the Lumbra, and then one for the rare card that we received in that last pack. All right, last pack magic. Come on, right side. Give us a shiny. First card is going to be a sword token. Holographic is savior, or savior, or saver. Wow, that looks freaking awesome. Looks like two mana, target creature gets minus two, minus two until end of turn. Create a food token. A little full art land. They actually have four different seasons they have spring, summer, fall, and winter. Awesome art. Nice. Hired Claw for one mana. Whenever you attack with one or more lizards, Hired Claw deals one damage to target opponent. Dang, dude. That's pretty sweet for one mana. No way. There we go. Mura. Trash Tactician. Three mana. Legendary Creature. Raccoon Warrior. At the beginning of your first main phase, add one mountain or one forest for each raccoon you control. Wow. Whenever you expend four, you gain three life. You expend four as you spend your fourth total mana to cast spells during a turn. Whenever you expend eight, exile the top two cards of your library. Until the end of your turn, you may play those cards. Holy crap, dude. That's freaking awesome. Yeah, we'll definitely have to make sure that we give... Right side, two points for that. Let me sleeve these guys up real quick. Get this guy a little spot. Give right side two points. Jolly Gerbils. Curious Forager. Got the Mage. Fountain Port Bell. Got that Templus Angler again. Druid of the Spade. Frilled Spark Shooter. Again, this art is freaking awesome, new man. Wow. Too cool. Uncharted Haven. Run away together. This is for two mana, it's an instant. Choose two target creatures controlled by different players. Return those creatures to their hands. Dang, that's going to be pretty cool for playing Commander. Last card, Bone Bind, Bone Bind or Raider. Pretty cool. All right, first pack for left side. Come on, left side. Show us a holographic. Alright, first card, our little token. It's gonna be Dark Star Augur. Little Bat Warlock guy. Mabel's Metal is our holographic. Looks like for two mana, target creature gets plus two, plus two until end of turn. Up to one target creature gets plus one, plus one until end of turn. Oh, that's pretty sweet. Oh, nice. Heck yeah, man. Definitely need to make sure that we give left side a point for this full art. Or rather, extended art. Planes, holographic. Dang, that's awesome looking. All right, our rare card is... Portent of Calamity. Looks like X mana, and then one island. Reveal the top X cards of your library. For each card type, you may exile a card of that type from among them. Put the rest in your graveyard. You may cast a spell from among the exile cards without paying its mana cost if you exile four more cards this way. Then put the rest of the ex exiled cards in your hand. Not bad, not bad. Oh, nice. Double, another uh, double rare pack. So let's go ahead and get left side two more points. So they're now at three. Lunar 
Convocation. All right, looks like for a plains and a swamp, it's an enchantment. At the beginning of your end step, if you gain life this turn, each opponent loses one life. At the beginning of your end step, if you gain and lost life this turn, create a 1-1 black creature token with flying. And then for two mana, I can pay two life, draw a card. Not, not too shabby. Dang, this card looks freaking awesome too, man. Wow. Got this little cool card. Bramble Guard Captain. It's pretty sweet. For four mana, at the beginning of your combat, on your turn, target creature you control gets plus X, plus zero, until end of turn where X is Bramble Guard's Captain's Power. Sweet. Bark, knu Bark Knuckle Boxer. Again, crazy art. Junk Blade Bruiser. Crazy art again. Dang, that looks awesome. Got Holly Wallop. Grilled Spark Shooter. Head of the Homestead. This is down players. Sky Skipper Duo. Looks like our last card is going to be Scales of Shell. Pretty neat. Let me just sleeve up these two little rares. Get this guy a little spot up here. Pretty cool. All right, pack two. What to do? Let's keep them hits going, man. I think left side might have just clutched it with that first pack, though. All right, so our token is going to be the little Otter Wizard. Our holographic is Light Shell Duo. Got a Swamp. Full art. All right, here we go. Cruel Claws Heist. For two Swamp, gift a card. And then target opponent reveals their hand. You may choose a non-land card from it. Exile that card. If the gift was promised, you may cast that card for as long as it remains exile, and mana of any type can be spent to cast it. Dang, dude, that's freaking awesome. Got Valley Rally. Fireglass Mentor. Curious Forger. Wix Patrol. Dang, wild. Bellowing Crier. Cash Grab. Conduit, or Conduct Electricity. Moonrise Cleric. Starlight Sooth Slayer, or Sayer. Water Spout Warden. Banishing Light. This one definitely helped me win that first night. It's for three mana. When Banishing Light enters, exile target non-land permanent an opponent controls until Banishing Light leaves the battlefield. Yeah, pretty cool. All right, baby, last pack of magic. Let's do this. Come on, holographic foil. Or Planeswalker would be cool too. Alright, first card is going to be an art card. Dang, that looks pretty crazy. I personally like the art cards. Oh wow, there's that Templus Angler and a holographic. Full art land. Here we go. Iridescent Vine Lasher. <laughs> For one mana. Alright, it has Offspring, which means you may pay an additional 2 mana as you cast this spell. If you do, when this creature enters, create a 1-1 token copy of it. And this has Landfall. Whenever a land, uh, whenever a land you control enters, this creature deals 1 damage to target opponent. Dang, dude, that's awesome for 1 mana. Holy crap. Gossip's Talent. 
Fire Glass Mentor. Over Protect. Alright, looks like two mana. Target creature you control gets plus three, plus three. And gains Trample, Hexproof, and Indestructible until end of turn. Jeezel. Downwind Ambusher. <laughs> Crazy. Rabbit Response. Another Moonrise Cleric. Again, the art. This is phenomenal, man. Got Tree Guard Duo. Saza Cap Brew. Carrot Cake. Alright, let's see this. Carrot Cake. For two mana. When Carrot Cake enters and when it when you sacrifice it, create a 1-1 white rabbit creature token and scry. Scry just means that you can look at the top card of your library. You may put that card on the bottom. And then it says down at the bottom, uh, for two mana, tap it, sacrifice cake carrot, you gain three life. That's pretty sweet. Got shore up. Thorn Plate Intimidator is going to be our last card. Pretty sweet. Definitely need to make sure that we give left side two points to make left side our victor. Again, this right here, this Lumbra. Wow, I am super surprised that we pulled this. Again, this is definitely one of the best cards in the set that you can get right now. Wow, too cool. And shout out to Matt Stewart, the artist. Awesome. We appreciate everybody sticking around, watching the video. If you want, hook me up with a subscribe, like, comment. We're really close to our 100 subscribers. If you like content like this, go ahead and subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Appreciate it. Thanks, guys. Bye.